Man, talk about a crazy day for SoFi stock, guys. You know it's crazy when I'm doing two videos on a single stock in the same day. I mean, today was an unbelievable day. We had their earnings in the morning, which you guys probably know. We uh, we covered that in my video from earlier today. If you didn't watch that, go check out that video. And I told you guys in that video, which was my first video of the day, I'm going to be doing a part two video to go over how SoFi did for the rest of the day because I think I filmed that when it was about 11, 11.30 a.m. on the East Coast. So a lot has changed since that point. We're going to go over some key levels I'm looking at here on the charts, my thoughts, what I'm looking to do. But before we actually dive into the video, guys, don't forget to get your free money from Moomoo, the sponsor of today's video. All you guys have to do is go down below or just simply go to stossurfest.com slash Moomoo, open up your account and fund it with at least 100 bucks. And once you do that, you get five stocks right off the bat. And if you want some more stocks, why not? If you fund your account at least $1,000 on top of those five stocks, you get 10 more stocks totaling 15 stocks and mind you guys each of those stocks is valued up to 2000 bucks and if you want some more stocks some more money guys open up your account and fund it with at least five thousand dollars on top of those 15 stocks you also get a free share of either tesla stock or expedia stock which makes this promo a no-brainer so use that link down below and of course full disclosure that is an affiliate link i appreciate you all as always and with that being said guys cheers let's dive right into the video so you all probably know and this is actually a really good sign for the bulls a majority of the gain well all of the gain pretty much came in the pre-market on sofi and in the first 10 15 minutes of trading and what's really good for the bulls is obviously the fact that it went up 20 percent it went up almost two bucks on the day and what's even better what makes it even better it's kind of like the cherry on top is the fact that the bulls held all of the gains for the rest of the day. That's really good, guys. A lot of the time or sometimes when stocks run up this much in the morning and the pre-market at open, a lot of the time they could fizzle out and end up selling off dramatically into close. Not saying that they're going to sell off and give back the entire gain, although that's possible. That happens as well. But sometimes, let's say if a stock goes up 20, 25% in the first, you know, 10, 15, 20 minutes of trading, if it's up that much, a lot of the time, it only closes up 5%, 10%. It gives back a lot of the gains. But the fact that we ran up to 1170 sure, we gave back a little bit of the gains, about 20, 25 cents. You know, we close off of the, uh, you know, the peak here. But we close at 1145 guys. We pretty much held strong above, you know, or right at the mid-11s all day, which is really good considering that's where we rallied at in the morning here. You guys can see we ran all the way to about 1160 by about 945 a.m. on the East Coast. We held that point, you know, at, at 11 a.m., noon on the East Coast. So the fact that we rallied massively this morning and we held that for the rest of the day, that's a really good sign, in my opinion, for the Bulls. And this might be a stretch. I don't know. What do you guys think? But I'm seeing an ascending triangle kind of here on SoFi in the short term, which it's rallied so much already. So to say there's going to be even more upside uh, might be, you know, might be a stretch, although there could be a lot more upside in the very short term for all we know. Long term, I think there's going to be a lot more upside, but I'm talking here in the very short term. You could argue either way, right? You could argue we're due for a sell-off or this triangle uh, could play out. But let's have some fun here, guys. What we have here is, at the end of the day, a triangle. And if this does end up playing out, which means we break above 1175, we start breaking above $12, that's when, technically speaking, SoFi could really start breaking towards 15 bucks, maybe even higher than that. And is that guaranteed? Of course not, guys. Nothing's guaranteed. But, you know, that's where momentum potentially could take this uh, this stock. So I'm going to set my alert at 11.75, which is right above the highs from today, right at 11.70 is where we hit the high of the day. And I'm going to put another one at $12. Mark is that we're above $12. We'll see if that's able to break as well. And now that we're looking at the four hour chart, my goodness, guys, Pal or not Palantir. I'm so used to saying Palantir. Both of these stocks we talk about a lot on the channel. And if you guys do like updates on Palantir, SoFi, and a bunch of other stocks, the overall markets, this is the best channel for you. Make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell. It's completely free, and we're almost at 30,000 subs. So now that I'm 
looking at this chart, it is a little bit stretched. Let's be honest, guys. We're not going to BS and sugarcoat things on this channel. On the four-hour time frame, yes, things are very stretched. We're overbought. But again, on the intraday, we are seeing this triangle. And, and it doesn't mean necessarily that, okay, we have a triangle now. All right, we're going to go straight to 15 bucks. That's, that's not how this works, guys. This triangle, for all we know, could play out. Maybe this runs to $12. Then it dumps $1.50 two bucks back to 10 and then maybe we start running the 15 right that's how that could play out uh, but either way we have this triangle on the intraday we're very overbought on the four hour keep that in mind and here on the three-year chart now we're starting to break out of some key levels obviously now that, that we're breaking above ten dollars we're starting to go towards 12 now the main resistance that I'm looking at coming up at least is right around 13 to 1350. If I draw this trend line out, you guys can see, and, and if I zoom in a little bit, we actually held 13 to 1350 pretty steadily. Uh, it looks like about a year and a half, two years ago. Let me see exactly uh, what time period this was. This was back in, it looks like the beginning of 2021, heading all the way throughout pretty much all of 2021. It looks like here into the early days of 2022, we held above 1340 to about 1350. So that makes it, well, the next main level of resistance, the next target that I can see SoFi going to in the short term, 13 to 1350. And again, we might pull back a little bit because we are stretched on the four hour chart. So we might pull back a little bit in the short term before we do end up running towards that level but that is the main level that i'm looking at personally uh here over the next couple of weeks and and then if 13 50 breaks let's say for example hypothetically now we're talking maybe a move towards uh you know 15 17 if we really get in the nitty-gritty of these charts guys we can see back in you know the end of 2021 we peaked out in the mid 16s that'd be a target uh you know back in the end of 2021 in september we peaked out at 18.50. We hit 20 in the mid-20s. We were in the mid-20s at one point back then too. So we could get hot fairly quickly, even though we're already up a lot this year. And obviously, guys, I'm not guaranteeing anything. Nothing's guaranteed in the stock market. We're just having fun here, breaking down these charts and playing, you know, hypothetical uh, scenarios. But today was just one of those days where it just completely exploded after they beat EPS revenue. They raised their guidance. And by the way, if you guys want to see more in depth, their earnings, we're not really talking about that in this video because we talked about that in the last video from earlier today. This is kind of just a follow up as the markets closed about 30 minutes ago. So uh, yeah, again, the fact that we held the gains heading into close, that is really good. So for tomorrow, and mind you, today's only Monday, guys. We still have the rest of the week. For tomorrow, let's see if we do gap up above 11.75, 12 bucks. If so, even though we're super stretched on the four-hour chart, I know it's crazy, but in the short term, maybe this breaks out even more before ultimately pulling back, which let's be honest, guys, looking at SoFi on the four-hour chart, yes, it's great. We're ripping. It's awesome. Bulls are in charge. We are due for a little pullback. Let's be honest with ourselves. Let's not lie to ourselves. That's key for us to be successful in the stock market, right? We have to be real and we have to be as objective as possible. So with that being said, I'm going to wrap up the video. If you enjoyed it, smash the like button, make sure to subscribe, and don't forget to get your free money for Moomoo. Moo. Once you open up your account and fund it with at least 100 bucks using that link down below, you get five stocks right off the bat. And if you fund your account with at least $1,000, you get 10 more stocks, totaling 15 stocks. And listen to this, guys. Fund your account with at least $5,000 on top of those 15 stocks. You also get a free share of either Tesla stock or Expedia stock, which makes this promo a no brainer. So use that link down below. Get your stocks. Let me know which ones you get in the comments. And with that being said, cheers. I'll see you in the next video.